Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm really, really enjoying the lectures on Surah Al-Baqarah every evening. My studies, alhamdulillah, have been just an absolute joy throughout the day. I'm getting to revisit the surah like I've never done before. Uh, what I wanted to share with you is on Saturday, the 11th of June, we're coming up actually in the surah. After having finished about a page and a half, we're coming up to the first two parables that are mentioned in the Qur'an. Now, what in the world is a parable? The Qur'an is full of these examples that Allah gives to illustrate deep realities, deep spiritual realities. And because the, 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 com the subject matter is so profound and so heavy, what Allah does in His wisdom is He teaches them by painting an elaborate picture. And that's what a parable is. To give you an example of a parable, Allah describes describes how the, the, you know, the revelation of the Qur'an overtook the city of Mecca and he describes it like rain that flooded a valley and not a, not a corner of it remained dry. And that's actually his way of saying the message of the Qur'an touched every nook and cranny, every alley, every home, every marketplace inside of Mecca. Right? So that's, that's actually a parable. So two of the most elaborate, beautiful, and really quite vivid parables that are in the Qur'an are the first two parables that are coming in Surah Al-Baqarah. That's Saturday, June the 11th at bayina.org. I hope you guys tune in, inshallah. And I hope I'm able to do a good job explaining them to you. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.